Hey guys, welcome back to Xbox channel. Myself Rakesh and let's try to see what is the right answer for this question. A username and password is stored in a single asset in UiPath Orchestrator 2020.10. So here you need to be underlining this particular line in the question. Username and password stored in an asset. So for this kind of a question, what kind of an asset will you be using if you have to store username and password? You have to use a credential asset. Okay. The developer wants to update the values of the asset. Which approach should be used for updating the asset from a workflow in UiPath Studio? So if you have to pass or you have to change the username and password in your workflow, right? During runtime, you would like to do it. So how that can be done through a workflow uh, in UiPath Studio? So the options given set username and password in a single string input to set asset activity are you going to use set asset activity is there activity called set asset so is is this the uh, 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 right answer for the username and password no second option use a set asset activity so first of all while we are reading that we'll go back and read that again let me try okay set asset so are you going to use this activity absolutely no use a set asset activity for the username and a set asset activity for the password for two you know separately you use two set set uh, asset activity pass the username comma asset name comma password in a single string input to the set asset activity using the set asset activity you pass everything now the third one set username and password using the set credential activity now, because there are set activity, set activity, set activity, don't choose one of the answers because these answers are wrong and this is the right answer. Let me explain you. Okay, first of all, we need to understand how this works. So, for that, I want you to log into your cloud.uipart.com and once you log in, hit on the specific folder. So, check your UiPath Studio. My UiPath Studio is connected to IT folder. Okay, because asset is specific to the folder. For let's say if I change my folder, the asset which I will be creating here will be different from the asset that I have created in this folder. So they are specific to each folder. Okay. Now first thing what I what I'm going to do, for example, if you see I have created an asset here in this folder, but if you go to shared folder, do I see asset? There is no asset. Okay, so you should understand. So first of all, let me try to delete this or remove this. And then let's create an asset. So for that, hit on asset. First of all, click on the folder, click on the asset, and then click on the add asset and select create new asset. Okay. Now let me give some name. Let's say uh, I'm say app one. I'm giving some name. Okay, asset name. And here I'll be selecting the asset as credential type. You can provide a description if required. Let me store, um, let's say I'm saying Rakesh. Okay. Rakesh I have stored as the username and let me put some password. And I'm going to hit on create. So the moment I do this, what happened? This asset name got created storing my username and password. Now if I have to update this, so what is the username I have given? The username for this asset I have given is Rakesh and some password I have given simple password okay now here you will not if you come back you won't see the password but password is already stored okay it is already stored don't have to come and change it here now to update here you can directly come and update <clears throat> but the question is how can you update through the workflow now to update through the workflow simply type credential which is a default activity and here you would find something called set credential drag and drop the set credential First thing I have to provide the credential name to provide the credential name just copy from here and I'm going to put it in the double quote done now let's say password I want to set some simple password let's say everything should be in the double quote a1 b2 c3 something some password I want to let's store now username okay username I have given Rakesh so I want to change it to Rakesh app1 let's say I want to change my username to this one. Now, if I run this, 
okay give it a quick second through this set credential activity i will be able to update see the execution completed let's go back let's refresh this and open the asset now if you see my username got updated rakesh app 1 as i have done and also the password has been updated so this is the way to update your credential asset so if you go back to the question which approach should be used for updating the asset from a workflow in uapa studio now from a workflow i can use set username and password using a set credential activity very straightforward so this is the right answer guys so thank you so much for watching please do utilize all the contents i am creating in the uapa certification even you are appearing for an interview or a going for a certification that's going to help you uh, enhance your knowledge take care guys we are going to meet in our next video bye bye